Coach just introduced a new sustainable line of products that they are calling Coachtopia, and it sold out almost immediately. Their website details a plethora of ways that this line is contributing to reducing their impact on the environment. However, there's already some controversy surrounding some of those methods. Is Coach making good choices? Are they doing the right thing? Want to learn more? Stay tuned to find out. A few days ago, I received an email announcing Coachtopia from Coach. I clicked on it immediately, not long after it had been sent, and just about everything was already sold out. I'll be showing you a few of those pieces in this video today, but really not very many, so if you want to see them, I will have them linked below so you can make sure you go check that out and get a better sense of the look of all the things I'm about to describe. I'm going to go into the materials, the processes, and some of the controversy, and in the end, some of the other options you have, still with Coach. So first of all, what is Coachtopia? Well, according to Coach, I'm going to read this from my computer here. Coachtopia is a collaborative lab for innovation within Coach. It's founded with a mission to accelerate our transition towards a circular economy in fashion by rapidly prototyping new products, processes, and ideas. So what the heck does that mean? Well, they go on to say, made circular, which is trademarked, is a design philosophy. This means we reimagine waste as a valuable raw material and work backward, crafting our products from recycled, repurposed, or renewable materials and designing them to live multiple lives with clear pathways for take back, reuse, or recycling. They go on to say they're working to eliminate both new material creation and waste by creating products from what already exists and designing them to be reused and remade over multiple lives. So not just the one, or even the two, but multiple. In doing so, our goal is to find new ways of making beautiful things that have a reduced impact on the planet compared to those made by conventional methods. So to summarize, what they're doing here is trying to be more environmentally friendly and more sustainable, primarily by switching up the source materials that they use to create their bags, at least the bags in this line. Although I know that some of these methods that they use, they have used before for other items as well. So what I've done and what I wanna share with you is I went through the entire Coachtopia website, because what they have done is they have the coach website and at the very top where it says coach right next to it is coachtopia so it's almost like having two websites in one so i went to the coachtopia website and i copied all of the text from the entire website every single page i could find every link that made like 10 pages worth of text I have gone through that and read it so you don't have to, and then I have reduced that into the things that I think are most pertinent to explain to you what exactly they're doing so that if you feel like you want to invest in this or at least learn more, you have the information that you need. So here we go. I'm going to read directly from them so that I don't get it wrong. I've reduced this to like one page of notes. And for a few of them, I'll have examples of the bags that are made using this process so you can get an idea of what it would look like. The first is upcrafted leather. So this is made from coach production waste, specifically the scraps of leather left over after coach bag patterns are cut from leather hides. They'll make a bag, they'll cut the leather out of the hide, and then those scrap pieces are then cut into smaller pieces and shapes and things, and they make something totally new with it, like this. Like they've taken strips of leather and woven them together to create these checkerboard patterns. This I like, this I think is pretty cool. Another method is some Coachtopia products are made from dead stock. What that means is products that have not sold. So they're new products that Coach made, usually from traditionally sourced materials. And if those bags or whatever they are haven't sold, then they can break them down and reuse those materials for other things. For example, upcrafting, like we just talked about. Then there's regenerative leathers. I know they've used this before. These are leathers sourced from farms that use regenerative agricultural practices, such as grazing management and crop rotation. These practices can help to increase biodiversity and increase soil health, which can lead to absorption of atmospheric carbon. So my understanding of this based on that kind of vague description is that 
there's nothing particularly special about the leather. They're still just getting the leather from the cows. They're not using it from other sources. It's pretty traditional. But the farm that the cow is raised on is using regenerative agricultural practices, which makes that farm better for the environment than another farm that's not doing that. If you know differently, if I did not interpret that correctly, please let me know in the comments section below. Here's an example of a bag made from Coach Topia leather. What this is, they say the Coach Topia leather is used in many of our bags and small leather goods. It's made with at least 50% recycled leather scraps from tanneries. And though it's made with waste, it sacrifices nothing in terms of style, which really doesn't say anything. Coachtopia has worked with its partners to ensure Coachtopia leather has the premium finish, texture, and hand feel that you would expect from a Coach leather product, but with an at least 60% lower carbon footprint versus regular leather. The gist here, Coachtopia leather is made from at least 50% recycled leather scraps. In a minute, we'll get into what that means, because it may not be what you think. Okay, another practice they're using are Coachtopia t-shirts and hoodies, as well as the dust bags we optionally provide with Coachtopia products, are made from at least 95% recycled pre-consumer cotton textile scraps. So that's nice. They also offer canvas totes that are recycled. Here's an example. These, they've offered these before as well outside the Coachtopia line. And these are made with 100% recycled polyester shell. Even the thread used in Coachtopia products is 100% recycled polyester, so that's nice. And they have some resin chain straps. They've had these before outside the Coachtopia line. These are made from at least 70% recycled plastic, as are the special hang tags that come with some of these bags. The Coachtopia shoe boxes and clamshell shipping boxes are made from at least 75% recycled cardboard board and printed with algae ink, a responsibly sourced renewable pigment. Our Coachtopia paper hang tags, tissue paper, and gift note carts are all made from 100% recycled paper. So they are really trying to do the whole thing here, not just the bags or the small goods, but the entire experience of a Coachtopia product being better for the environment, and I think that's great. They're also making efforts to cut down on environmental impact regarding shipping, such as using companies and methods that can reduce emissions. And they offer a take-back program, which they've had for a while, where you can take your Coach products into a retail store and they will accept them back. I think they give you some kind of money for that, but it's pretty low as far as I've heard. They can then take those products restore them, upcycle them, or recycle them. And lastly, they've pledged to donate 1% of Coachtopia's annual sales to certain environmental nonprofit organizations who are working to create a positive change. Now, one extra note on top of the environmental piece of Coachtopia is they're also making this, at least to some degree, a community effort. They call this community Coachtopians, and they have a beta community that they have specified on their website is all people from Generation Z, which is very interesting because I did a video about that, about Coach catering to Gen Z. I'll link it below for you. I got a lot of negative feedback from people saying, uh, I'm not Gen Z and I love Coach. What about me? I feel like Coach is ignoring the rest of their market. I, I would guess most of their customer base is not Gen Z, but what do I know? So one way they're doing this is limited edition collaborations. So in this first drop of Coachtopia, by the way, this was their first drop and it's sold out. I've been hearing that it will not be restocked, but my understanding based on reading the website is that this will be an ongoing line with continuous drops throughout time. So collaborations, they're also working with people who they're calling leading upcyclers asking them to reimagine coach scraps and products, and that the resulting work would be featured in key drops throughout the year. That's what I just said, key drops. And through the Coach Foundation, they're investing in tomorrow's design talent. They're basically offering competitions and scholarships for young designers. That's cool too. All right, let's get to the controversy. What this does is circle back around to the recycled leather in the Coachtopia line. And I got this information, I heard about the controversy through one of the Coach Facebook groups, and then I went off and did my own bit of research on the internet to confirm this information and get a little bit more. So the recycled leather is another name for bonded leather. And Coach has this picture up on their website. 
illustrating different parts of the process and the recycled leather. And what this is, is they take scraps of leather, real leather, they slice it up and make tiny little pieces out of it and like a pulp. And then it's mixed with something else because they said it's at least 50% recycled leather. And then the pulp is, I guess, extruded and it is somehow adhered to some kind of backing. This is common practice throughout many fields that do leather pieces. I know Lawn Shop does it. I found a place that has office chairs that do this. The question is, it's really pretty vague about about what the process is and what the other materials are because at least 50% leather means that there's less than 50% that is something else. Is it also leather? Is it leather from the regular sources of just getting it straight from a cow? Is it man-made materials? What is it? Who knows? They don't tell us. But that's something you should understand if you're interested in a recycled bag and you care about the materials. Another thing I saw brought up in the Facebook groups that was kind of controversial about the materials they're using is that some of these bags have microfiber linings. And I don't know if you've been hearing about this in the news. I've heard about it some on NPR where these microfibers are such tiny little fibers that they come off and they're in all kinds of things, not just coach bags, of course, but they can come off in the washing machine or just as you're using a microfiber rag or whatever it is, they're in the air, they get into our food, they get into the ocean, into animals, they have toxins in them where they can kill the animals, but then we also fish and we have fish that have microfibers and we ingest that and so we all pretty much have microfibers in us already. And it's not a particularly healthy thing for the environment or for the animals that live in it. Fortunately, if this is something that concerns you and probably should. Coach does provide a good amount of transparency in the product listings on the Coachtopia website. So it'll have outer shell, the inner lining, the whatever, all the little pieces of the product that you're looking at listed out and it'll tell you what each one is made of. So that's really nice. That's helpful for those of us who care about that. It's also nice that Coach has set up their Coachtopia website with a few different headers at the top. So you can easily sort between recycled, upcycled, or the collaboration pieces. So if you don't want that recycled leather, you can just click on upcycled and look at those pieces instead. And hopefully that rules out the recycled materials if you don't want that. Also don't forget on the regular Coach website outside of Coachtopia, we still have the Reloved section, which has been there for a few years now. And they have restored, upcrafted, remade, and vintage items. The restored being more contemporary bags that they They've taken back from stores or maybe purchased, I don't know how, all the ways they get them. And they've restored those, brought new life into them, and offered them up for sale again. Upcrafted, this is just like the upcycled pieces from Coachtopia. This is where they take pieces of other bags and scraps and they make something totally new, a one of a kind piece. Remade, or is that upcrafted? Those are very similar. I don't know. Remade and upcrafted, not sure of the difference there, to be honest with you. And then the vintage items are where they take vintage coach bags and restore those as best they can. A lot of us are already familiar with that. The thing here is one major difference between the Coach Reloved site and the Coachtopia site is the Coachtopia is a heck of a lot cheaper, at least in this first drop, than the Reloved pieces. So the Coachtopia pieces averaged about $350 for a bag, whereas many of the reloved pieces that I was looking at were more like 700, so double the price. And that's been a huge complaint from customers since Coach opened that reloved shop. And that is everything you need to know about Coachtopia. What do you think? What is your opinion on this now that you know all this information? If they weren't sold out, is there anything you would go buy? Are you looking forward to the next drop because you want to get something? Or have you ruled it out completely now? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.